The Connected Car – How to Ensure Fair and Competitive Mobility Throughout Europe Meet John. He's the owner of a multi-brand repair and servicing company employing a number of people in various roles. John's company is part of a long supply chain of European firms working to keep cars safe, clean and mobile. John has a loyal customer base and offers great value and service. He constantly invests in people and technology to maintain his competitive edge. Currently, John's team physically inspects vehicles in the workshop. Using diagnostic tools, the health status of a vehicle can be assessed, allowing the team to quickly find a problem, get the necessary technical information, select the required replacement parts and complete the repairs. But recently, John's become worried about industry developments that will threaten his ability to compete. This concerns the pioneering wireless telematics technology being built into new vehicles, allowing them to be permanently online when on the road. The technology can be used for a wide range of services and will revolutionize the way cars are serviced and repaired. This will make maintenance a more proactive and predictive process and lead to more efficient businesses, benefiting the consumer. However, the communication of telematics data is exclusively directed to the vehicle manufacturers, presenting a grave threat to John's ability to offer competitive service. This threat is now accelerated by the European eCall project. eCall requires new cars to be fitted with telematics functions to enable the automatic placing of a 112 emergency call in the event of an accident. The same technology can be easily adapted to transmit any live data to the vehicle manufacturers. This gives manufacturers a game-changing advantage, enabling them to get real-time information about the health and status of the vehicle. Whilst independent companies cannot obtain the same information wirelessly in the same timescale, as John is only able to monitor his customers' vehicles when they're brought to his workshop. Likewise, entire industries, servicing companies, parts suppliers and wholesalers, road patrols, insurers, leasing companies are threatened in a similar manner. Only the manufacturers would decide who can or cannot remotely access the vehicle and its live data and under which conditions. This must be avoided. The current level playing field with equal opportunities for all market players must be extended into the digital age. Legislation is urgently needed to ensure that vehicle manufacturers implement an interoperable, standardized and secure platform to support fair competition and give consumers the power to choose who receives the data from their vehicle. This is technically feasible and would allow the sector to remain independent from vehicle manufacturers' own business models and decisions. Failure to act would shut out multi-brand operators and impede the entire automotive aftermarket supply, restricting consumer choice. John's passionate about his business and his people. He's confident that as long as consumers are empowered to choose and that he has the ability to compete fairly, he can continue to be a proactive entrepreneur and provide high levels of service and value, helping underpin Europe's affordable mobility. For further information, please visit 